everybody, Austin Moss here with Sweetwater Sound. I'm really excited to show you the satellite from Rossum Electro. The satellite's an expander for the Control Forge. It lets you load multiple sequences and presets into it and then play it from the satellite. You can use the satellite to play the Control Forge's presets across multiple different cases or even in entirely different systems. You can string multiple satellites together via the gate inputs and outputs and have polyphonic modulation madness. The satellite's a little different than the Control Forge, but it's a lot the same. If you haven't watched the video on the Control Forge yet, that might be a good place to start to give you an idea of what the satellite's capable of. Let's take a look at how it's different from the Control Forge and what it can do on its own. A good starting point for understanding what the satellite is all about is actually checking out the Control Forge. They're virtually identical in almost every way. What you'll find is they have similar display information. In fact, here on the satellite, uh, when it goes into screensaver mode, it shows the transition shapes on the screen, which is kind of fun to watch. But let's, let's uh, do a little bit better here. You'll see that a lot of the information that's displayed is the same. It still shows each little segment, and it shows the voltage that's being output as well. It shows our preset names and numbers and all of that good stuff. Shows what triggers are being fired, what sequences go in a lot of the same information. You've got your CV pass-throughs, you've got your trigger outs, all of that's the same. I'm gonna to point to a couple of minor differences here. You'll see on the control forge you've got these two knobs here that are CV3 and CV4. On the satellite, CV3 and CV4 are jacks. So if you wanna modulate those parameters, you'll need to send some kind of control voltage there. You're not gonna just grab a knob as you might on a control forge. What's really cool about the control forge and the satellite together is you can back up one into another. Let's take a look at how to do that right now. So we're gonna be in play mode on the control forge with the blue and we're gonna go into our utilities mode here. We're gonna to go to send to module and that's set up and loaded. We're gonna go out of our trigger two to the logic input on the satellite. Here, we're gonna go into uh, load preset and load sequence together gets us into our utility mode in the satellite. And we're gonna go receive from module. Okay, I'm gonna select that one more time and it's erasing our flash, it's waiting for the data. Let's press it and make it happen. Data successfully loaded. Now, we can go load all of our presets that were in the control forge in our satellite. So we can have the same envelope going to different places or we can have uh, preset 317 over here and preset 316 over here. It's really handy. As you can see, the satellite is a super capable module, even just as a preset player for something that you might build in the Control Forge. It does envelopes, it does LFOs, it gets up into the audio range so that you can use it as a textural wavetable kind of oscillator. It has loads of functionality as a backup unit. It's loads of fun. If you have questions about it, or if you'd like to get one in your rack, give your Sweetwater sales engineer a call right now.